Hi, I'm Ollie. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Draco Designs S4 bumper. So uh, here it is. I've actually split it open, ready, so I can show you the insides. What you do get in here, if we can just get that in focus for you, you do get a little cushion pad. You can actually see the Draco logo on there. So there's one. There's the other side. So if you do get an impact on your phone, it's not going to transfer it straight through the metal. There is actually rubber pads that are designed around here to cushion the uh, the phone and also stop scratching when you're inserting it. So as you can see, the craftsmanship on this is really impressive. I'm actually not going to install it on uh, on camera. I'll pop it on and I'll come back and show you. You do get this little tool as well, which is uh, nice and neat. So if you do need to get to your battery or SIM card, it's not too impractical to keep it in your wallet. And then uh, also you do get two spare screws as well. So if you do lose them, which can easily happen, you can easily replace them without spending any further money. Right, so I'll pop it on the phone and back with you shortly. So this is the case installed on the, uh, on the S4. So I'll just give you a quick look around. So there's the uh, the power button, which obviously presses straight through the case itself. You can see, as we always with the Draco cases, there's nice detailing. There's the uh, access to the micro USB port. You can see the uh, microphone lines up fairly well, so you're not going to get any issues for that. You can also actually use a uh, kind of lanyard on there. There's the uh, the actual Allen key screw. You can just about see that reflecting in the light. So you do have to bear in mind with this case that if you do want to take it off, you do need the actual tool that comes with it. So the volume up and down feels nice and responsive. There's the access to the headphone jack, so unless you've got a, uh, a weird design, that should work absolutely fine. Noise cancelling microphone and also the infrared port there. You've got that cut out there for the Korean model of the S4, which is uh, unfortunate because you do have to put up with that. So give you a quick look at what it looks like at the back. It does sit fairly flush at the back, so if you do put it down, it is actually resting on the case just about by literally half a millimetre, so the camera's not going to get dragged around and scratched. I'll get that in focus, just give you a quick look around here so you can see how it lines up. 